Yeah, towards okay. the gate. Mm -hmm. The gate is where? Um, the side? Yeah. Scouting. Okay. Oh. That's on another screen. I'm not really sure how to let you scout without showing everybody else that same thing. Uh, Mike? Yes. Is there a way to put the screen on for just um, for just Zanera? You might be able to go into each person's do you have dynamic lighting? It's possible, but I don't so have that set up. You you could go into each person's icon and turn off uh, global vision or global something, except for his, and maybe that way you could do it. Yeah, that's true. Or we could just exit the game. Uh, like just no, no, no. There's no need to do that. <laughs> if it, if it's too also, tedious, it, no, never mind. Also, no, if he's if he's scouting, he's power, just gonna. Uh, it's something I should have thought about you wanting to do before. If, All right, we're gonna try what he said. If he's scouting, then he's just gonna report back to us anyway. So, I don't know. I don't know if that matters unless he gets snatched up. We'll probably know it all anyway. Good point. I mean, you could you could do it, but that might be a lot of work for uh, like having to switch it or show us all in two minutes. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is something that I will think about in the future. I should have considered that, but I haven't thought of it. Um, next time, it'll be something I'll look at making happen. I hope. My battle tech skills have served me well. <laughs> what are you talking about, coats? Huh? No, the macros and stuff. I know I, <laughs> I I like that I learned how to do this. Remember you and I were playing around with the dynamic lighting, are they? They upgraded yeah. it and they added a couple of um features. They added features? Yeah, they did. Was that yes? Yeah. Yeah, they did. What did they what did they add? Um I would have to go into a game to check it. It's um It's like you can Anything make the fog of war fade. Or like um so like any place that you have been remains dimly lit. Uh, so you can see the terrain, but you will only see enemies if you go back there. That's actually really handy. Yeah, it is. So it's like you're mapping a map, sort of a thing. Is that just for fog of war, though? No, it works in conjunction with dynamic lighting. Yeah, I have to play around with that. That sounds good. Yeah, that does sound. Do you have to do anything, or is it just automatically implemented? I think it's just some uh, like a checkbox you have to put on, and you have to make sure everyone has it. And um... oh no, I'm here. Yeah, there's a couple of things you 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 just have to like select or activate, and it kicks in. So once you What's play around with it a little bit. Um, I can't remember offhand. It was a little while ago. <laughs> uh, okay. let me... Well, that's cool. I'll, I'll, don't worry about it. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll... Um... Why, is there, why is there a doom buggy on, on the beach? There's... Oh, it's one of the enemy vehicles. You haven't encountered it yet, though. 
we have seen Triceratops and um, Raptors and, and stuff, and it's the Dune buggy that bothers him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have not seen Triceratops. You have seen Triceratops. <laughs> What's the difference? Cannonball. I can, yeah, that's a lot scarier. Does it still eat plants, though? Um, does it, does it yeah, plants? yeah, it eats plants, but do you know what has the highest kills amongst animals in Africa? The Triceratops? No, it's not Triceratops that kill people in Africa, but it is hippos. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know that, but I, I'm not surprised. Sure. Narrowly so don't take power. that whole, so don't take that whole plant eating thing to think like, oh yeah, life is sweet. Well, yeah, but at least you know they're not going to eat you a lot. I play a game called Hunter Primal, and life is not sweet. Wait, are you talking about Far Cry? No, 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 the Hunter Primal. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that with the wind direction and the sniper rifles. And then Ben and I decided, hey, we should just go hunt actual deer. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Primal is a uh, um, one of the games in that series that is set in prehist on a prehistoric world. So it's not deer. It's um, Triceratops and Archaeopteryx and T Rexes and Raptors and Velociraptors and um, pretty scary stuff. I probably don't know the names of any more dinosaurs after that. I don't know what I haven't seen in Jurassic Park. So you're telling me you're hunting dinosaurs with primitive weapons? That seems like an issue. You are... There's like a little storyline behind it where they drop you in a pod. And um, depending on how well you do, they will give you weapons. Because... Okay, so you're not 100% arrows and spears against a triceratop no you are not um you do start off with a pretty nifty machete so like every fight is a boss fight yeah <laughs> except for like the little ones you can just kick and so goes, like, yeah. yeah so <laughs> so what we do is we, we, we start off um We'll go and attack the tiny little two feet tall ones, kill a bunch of them, and uh, that will probably help us get like maybe a pistol or maybe a bow. And uh, you 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 attack the bigger ones, and until eventually you get like shotguns and stuff. How do you get a pistol out of a dingo? It's no, you don't. Of... You don't get the pistol out of it. It's like they will they will send a supply drop for you, and you have to get to the supply drop. Yeah. And if you come across a dead body, well, you can uh, um, or not, pick up what they dropped. What was that on it? I see the advanced fog of war now. I'll play with that. Yeah, that's what it is. So right, smart. Everybody, you may bring your tokens on to the black screen. At the bottom of the screen or um, at the top? At bottom the... right hand. Bottom right hand. For we are seated. Oh my god, I lost myself! I was so young. Okay, cool. I found myself. Holy crap, where am I? There's a way. There's a way. 
Alright, X, give me a stealth. Um, okay. with advantage. I'm gonna cast Pass Without Chase first. So I have plus 10 on stealth. Oh, advantage, sorry. Alright. Alright. Hold on, let me go and roll for them. Alright, so X, as you get in, you hear the familiar songs of the Orch marching song. Um, there aren't a whole lot of Orcs here, um, but what you do see are just a few large tire tracks that look like they've been dragged deeply into the mud. Obviously, the work of Zunkarat. Yay, Zunkarat. Oh, you guys are making your ways towards the gates of the city. So this is part of the forest, or was part of a forest um, leading into the city. And I know I named the city. So we're not going to this to the to the mystery forest. We're going to the city. Oh, damn! I'm sorry, Mike. That was oh, no. what I was trying to um, explain when I first walked in. Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. I no, just, no, no. I mean, I was trying to explain, but I misspoke last week. So when I um, spoke last week, there still is a mystery force that has something to do with why they're running out of food. And you'll also find out about a second problem that they have. So your choice will be which one to take care of first or at all. Um, and I misspoke last time when I mentioned that you could go there without going to the city first. So I was incorrect in that, and we can set up both scenarios from the city. Okay, let's go. All right. So, um, X, you see quite a few things. Once again, you do see, um, you do hear the pterodon above you, um, and you see the beginnings of the muddy tracks. You can see those muddy tracks, right? Uh, no. Oh, I, I guess is it is it that? Did you see where I pink? Yes. Yeah. And you see the beginnings of those muddy tracks, yes? Oh, wait. What color are you? You're dark green. Could you do that again? I think he means the tire tracks. Yeah. Okay. Then yes. All right. Um, so what are you doing at the track? I want to check how old or how long it's been there, I guess. All right. Give me a uh, investigation. Are we all like real close to him? Can we all investigate? That's a good question. Um, let's see. So that puts you about, um, what is it, 60 feet or 30 feet away from him. He wanted to scout ahead a little bit. So I'm going to guess that you guys are basically off screen. Um, and he's going to come back and tell you what he sees. So okay. right now I would have to say that you probably can't help him because I don't know. Just for fun, why doesn't everybody give me stealth checks? And just for fun. Speaking of stealth checks, I decided to try something different. 
with stealth checks. Because we have one character in my game who's just terrible at it. And uh, so I'm going to try doing a group roll where everybody rolls stealth. And then I add the number and divide it by the people who play. And if it's a high number, then they, everybody stealths. And if right, so we add all our stealths together and then divide by four. Yeah. Yeah. Or is it five? It's four, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it has been. Uh, four to five times it has Okay. So yeah, obviously Gar is also a cleric with big pumpkin armor. So he has the same issues. Um, he a yeah. stealth in no way. Yeah, sorry, uh, I, I you rolled out that are disadvantage. Also a cleric with big pumpkin <laughs> armor. And he ain't stealth in nowhere. The stealthiest guy, apart from our ranger, is the big honking minotaur. That's funny. Still. I, I rolled a 14. Um, yeah, I, but unfortunately you get that disadvantage on that um, armor. So the 14 was decent, but that disadvantage. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, you gave me an investigation, right? Right. Um, you look at the mud. <coughs> it's still kind of damp. The tracks go into the ground about near a foot deep. Um, possibly two feet. Do they look familiar? Oh, th those are the tie tracks. Okay, sorry. Uh, any footprints? Um, yeah. There are footprints. There are humanoid-sized footprints. Um, really kind of gathered around as different parts of it. It looks like they're trying to move a heavy object, some real heave ho shit. Um, and the other footprint you see looks to be three times that the size of a bear, maybe closer to an elephant. Not that I believe you've ever seen an elephant before. I, I hmm, kind of want to go a little bit farther. All right. Give me uh, a perception check. Okay. All right, so you see a friend, I assume, right? This guy? Yeah. He is there. Uh, I'm guessing no trees? No. Okay, I, I'll head back. And relay the information. All right. Go ahead and do just that. So, um, tire tracks? No. Um, there's a set of footprints, uh, pretty big. Uh, I guess you can compare it to a bear or an elephant. Not that I've seen an elephant before. Um, it still it looks pretty new. So, orcs might have passed by pretty recently. And there's at least, I'm going to guess, one enemy that I saw. They don't want to go too far. You're guessing or you saw? Well, I saw one. I'm not sure if it's an enemy or not. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, do you, you did get a good enough look at it. Um, it was a bugbear. Definitely an enemy then.
So yeah. Hmm. So do any of you guys um have any idea what these tire tracks might be or what the bugbear might represent? Uh, insight check? Sure. What are you trying to find out? Exactly what you just said. What's with the bugbear and how come there's no horse hooves in front of these tires? All right. Um, good question. Uh, the bugbear itself, and of course several other bugbears, might be strong enough to push an item this heavy. Um, obviously, it could also indicate something else larger and stronger. But you do know, but um, what you do know is that whatever would have to make um, tire marks that deep would probably weigh an upwards of 1,000 pounds. My ex-wife is here. One more time. I said my ex-wife is here. Roasted. God love you, man. <laughs> So I've never been married, by the way. That was just a joke. I mean, does the bugbear look like he's waiting for something? Like, to be killed or to talk? Well, oh, sorry, I missed that you, guys can certainly go and, you guys can certainly go and see if you want to find out. But first... I need everybody to give me a perception check. We're going to try what you just talked about. Okay. Also, uh, I have a I have a familiar that I forgot about, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can add his perception to your... We'll still be dividing by four. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't even know what he's got for perception. I just mentioned it. We're all champions of the book. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would, I don't even need you to roll yours. Um, and you did anyway. That's pretty damn good. Okay. So, the next thing you hear is a, a screech, and you hear the rustling of wind. Um, what are you guys going to do? You do have, uh, you don't have trees, but, you know, you have enough kind of messed up underbush to maybe blah 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 it's up to you um is anybody gonna try to parley with this thing or are we um just gonna <clears throat> like uh shoot first and oh ask questions? um does somebody want to give a check for darren to let him know what the chances of negotiating with a bugbear is no, well, I mean, everybody was just waiting, so it's like, I, 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 I was wondering, like, what, what are we waiting for, exactly? Okay. So we okay, the important thing is, you guys hear a, a loud screech and a rustling of wind. Yeah, so I look around. I look up in the air. That's what I do. I look up in the air. When you look up in the air, you see... A pterodactyl. Can we tame one? Yes. My favorite chicken. 
<laughs> to eat, to ride, or to pet? <sighs> to eat. Definitely to eat. <laughs> we tried them with gravy. Oh. Mm. Okay, so you guys are standing out in the open. I'm gonna get on the ground and cover myself with mud. It's the Terminator. Do you guys follow suit? What is this, Predator? Um, yeah. Is oh, there yeah. like a. Uh, <laughs> is there like a. Um, are we in combat or. What are the odds that they haven't seen us already? You guys roll perception high enough to notice them before they've noticed you. I'll give you oh, that. Oh, okay. And then... Good time I guys to get in front of me. I just make it real foggy. Oh, okay. All right, so um, X is hitting himself in his soldiers. Um, Zunkarat has made a fog cloud over you guys. I assume that you can all fit in that 20 foot radius. Um, anything from Darren? Anything from um, her magic? Yeah, how far away are they from us? They are right now 80 feet above you. Uh, okay. Mm. So we're kind of right. So I, they're 80 feet <laughs> higher than you, and they should be actually. So take whatever the distance you have and add 80 to it for right now. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. I believe that's 125 from um, X. And I believe that um, the first, what is the furthest distance on your longbow? My it's longbow? It's like 1,200, isn't it? Uh, 300. Okay. And I believe that is 125 total, if I'm correct. Yes? Yes. Um, there's no disadvantage on that. Let me turn to that real quick. Yeah, it's 150, 600, sorry. Okay, okay so if it's 150, 150 is where you would start to get disadvantage. That would mean this is 125, so... You are barely in your comfort. As for the rest of you, um, the range on your weapon should be there as well. Um, you know what the maximum range is and what have you. In the meantime, what do you guys plan to do right now? I'm going to move my fighter into attack range with his bow. Okay. Um, is that a longbow? Yes, it is. Okay, so he needs to get within 150. Just going to start walking in the fog. So, yeah, how, how close is 150? Um, they are 80 in the air, so take whatever your distance is and add 80 to it. We should be good. Um, They're how high in the air? 80 feet. Okay. So where your guy is right now, that's 50 plus 80. Under it and 30 is where he is right now. And I need to be a hundred. No, one fifty. And you're at one thirty right now. I'm at one thirty right now, and I I have a hundred and fifty range. You have a hundred and fifty before you need to get disadvantage. Um, after hundred and fifty, your total maximum range. Is six hundred. 
After 150, though, whatever you're firing at, you fire at disadvantage when you get beyond 150. Can I hit him from here? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's all Short right. answer. Short answer is yes. Question. Can you see through Zunkarat's fog cloud? No. <laughs> Heavily obscured in a 24 radius. That is correct. Where, where's the end of the fog cloud? You're at it. You are on the edge. Okay, well, let's not worry about that right now, then. All right, Zunk. are you going to... What are you going to try to do? Zunk's just walking towards the gate in his fog. <laughs> <laughs> the fog moves with you? I'm assuming I can cast it on myself. It says I can cast it on a point. I just want to be the belt. Um, that's fine. Hold on, let me give you something. Comes out of his ass. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Also comes out of my ears. Very, very tiny train was. All right, you guys can all see that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe that's 20. Mm. Twenty, pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a very low hanging cloud. Speaking of which, what type of day is it? Like, is it blatantly sunny and beautiful out? It's Partly cloudy. Okay. So it's not totally out of place. <laughs> if it looked like a beach party, then. Uh, yeah. Can you move it? I can. I cannot move my character. <laughs> <laughs> your essence has been removed from your body. <laughs> I am now the fog cloud. <laughs> you have transcended. Oh my <laughs> All right. So I assume you guys are moving the fog cloud. You moved it out far enough to no longer cover um, Hermegis's Herm, Herm soldiers. <laughs> um, the bugbear says, "What's going on? Stupid clouds!" I move into the fog again. All right, and you're leaving your boy out to try to take a shot? No, he's gonna come with me. I'm still crawling, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just, Jesus. So I think I'm gonna roll a collective stealth chuck for my for myself and my troops. What did you do? Twenty six. All right. Um. Let's see here. All right. So we do have the fog cloud covering you guys up. However, I am going to need a stealth check from Hermeji. Darren and Zunkarat, since X just gave me one. But the number's not huge. 
and I will take off the disadvantage because they are far enough where your clangy clang shouldn't be so bad. Add ten. I got a I got a twenty then. Uh -oh. I got a natural. 20. You got double ones. God damn it. Oh no. This is disadvantage. I thought he said take off disadvantage. Though. Yes, I'm I wrong. I, um, my, my sheet is rolling. No. Disadvantage. So it's, it's automatic, automatic because I think uh, you're so set up with it. So that's 15, 13, whatever, and he added 10 to it. Okay. Um, They thought they Perfect. heard... That was a 20. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you guys, um, all you have to do is beat a 10. Me. All you guys have to do is beat a 10. You're good. Um, So the pterodactyls thought they heard something. You hear a screech. And suddenly you realize that these particular pterodactyls don't only hunt by sight, they hunt by echolocation as well. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, you know what, guys? Just fuck this. <laughs> Let's just go get them. Yeah, disadvantage isn't necessarily a miss. And you're not no, even at disadvantage know, right now. I mean, We're at disadvantage if you shoot from under that cloud. Okay, well... Then I guess I'll get my guy to shoot them. Or one of them. Alright, which one is he shooting? This one right here, down by us. Alright. Take a shot with disadvantage, please. Okay, let me see. Does that hit? You hear a screech Ow! as your arrow sinks into one of its wings. It starts to spin around in circles, and the other one um, also starts to fly down with it. It comes down from 80 feet to approximately 40 feet in the air. I stop moving. I want my guy to shoot him again, if he can. Okay, now I'm going to ask us to please roll initiative as soon as I pull up the initiative track. And erase to Precious initiative. Damn it, I didn't want you guys to waste your old initiative. You what? I was trying to say, and I erased the old initiative so that you didn't waste your good one. Oh, sorry. That means I get to reroll. Oh, fuck. I want to keep my 18. Oh, man. Oh, re roll it. God damn it. Shit. This is me digging a grave. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Already covered in dirt. Once up ahead. I should probably put my troops in. I have to choose some spells for these guys fast. No, oh, this sucks. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see what I can do with my kids. All right, so that brings us to X. You are first. How high are they? They are 40 feet in the air. Can I shoot from prone? I don't see why not. But um, have you trained shooting prone? I did it last uh, time. Elevated at elevated. Oh, probably not. Ooh. Excuse me. 
That's all right. I'm gonna get up. If they were at if they were at your level or they were below you, I would let you know what? Ah, screw it. I don't care. You're a professional. Just shoot them. All right. Uh, three shots then. All right. Um, any particular one? Uh, this one right here. Also, uh, also, am I? First one hit. Um, Go ahead. Because I'm coming from stealth, I get advantage on my first attack, right? Unless they saw me. Um, they didn't see you. That would be my first attack. Uh, second and third. Oh, oh, third is ten. Sorry. Alright, so you sneak attack on your first one, so that is 12, 20, 31. Um, that one takes three arrows in the chest, it falls into the mud, and sticks in head first with his feet kicking for a little bit before it falls. Uh, and then I keep crawling. That would be my turn. All right, Dor, it's your turn. Um, I am going to hold my action until one of them comes into range. Um, the action I'm going to hold is to cast... Um, in fact... <clears throat> I didn't hear what you said. You're holding your action, you're going to cast what when it gets in the range? Uh, let me just uh, do, let me do, let me do something different instead. Um, so, uh, let me just see what this says. Right, so, um, that would give me three. I'm going to cast both of my soldiers and, um, X. Both of your soldiers and who? X. Both of your soldiers and who? X. E X. Okay. Cool. And that brings us to the pterodactyl. It's going to swing it back out. Oh, is he still at stealth? Because I'm the only one who... Um, it kind of saw where the other one landed, um, where it came from. Um, so, yeah, the stealth isn't completely invisible, so he can actually still try to take some level of swing at him. He's going to dive bomb at him. Okay. He's prone, so I think he gets advantage. Yeah, that's a melee attack. All right, so he's going to dive bomb. Hits. Miss. All right, cool. So, so he kind of goes into him. He dives down quickly with his beak, slashing him on the shoulder, but he tries to grab him with his talons on the other end. But you guys are able to roll out of a way in time before he gets to do anything too bad. And that brings us to Zunkarat. I spent a good spell slot in this cloud. Well, the if you must know, though, as he tries to scoop him up, before six seconds pass, he is only about 10 feet in the air right now. I don't know if that helps you. I mean, you do have a ranged weapon, don't you? 
I'm in a fog cloud, my dude. I guess I have to drop it. So, Zunkara, very unamused, is gonna half heartedly lob a fireball because we're no longer doing so. That fireball does hit them. That fireball hits and it hits him hard. You hear this thing scream like hell as it um, almost gets back, back down to the ground. In fact, it does land for a quick second um, before it starts its trying to fly back up. Hermeji, he lands about here, and he's trying to get back up in the air. It is your turn. Okay, let me just have a look at my shit. <laughs> Right, he's looking well, in bad shape, by the way. Fucking 11. Uh, uh, that's good enough, actually. And not only is it good enough to do that, the second fireball, you guys now have your roasted chicken. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What happened to that bug bear? He tried to get out of the bad weather of a fog. I'm gonna wave. I'm gonna Is check it? this thing out. What is this fucking thing? The least you can do this? is bring me a leg. Just by the way. Oh, a leg. Yeah. I'll... I don't. Does it have a leg? I don't know if you look kind of skinny. How about the tail? Tail will do. If it's anything like Crocodile. Could be. Kind of looks like it. I give my fighter to butcher. That's my um, ranger, by the way. Uh, oh, um, I need all four of you to roll me a D100. I need you to get 50 or below. This is a luck roll. Hey. Oh, god damn. <laughs> All right. With so as you guys move forward, it just so happens you see the rest of the bug bears moving forward in the mud. They're shoveling and they're pushing and they're yelling at the triceratops to keep on moving. Um, you see one bug bear go and push, get into a pushing match with a Person with a reptilian feature. A reptilian American. Oh god. This Arlan. You go now. Oh, no more dead bodies. Fine! We give you dead bodies! Alright, um... Go ahead and... Give me a perception check, X. Actually... Um, who has the highest nature? X? <laughs> Never mind. I have a plus three on nature. It's not that high. Yeah, me too. All right. Um, just because I don't want this to be the super X show, um, give me Hermeji a uh, nature roll. All right. Um, these reptilian guys seem to have really big butts. They are wearing armor and they're wearing pants, but you notice they have really big, weird-shaped butts. Hey guys, check out the asses on those lizard guys. <laughs> they can't fly. Um, do you have any thoughts on why they have big, bumpy butts? 
Are these like baboon lizards or something? Well, they're dressed like Dragonborn, and that would make sense. This is, is a Dragonborn city. These guys are dressed like Dragonborn. Do we have Dragonborns in our party? <laughs> yeah. You are literally you? are standing <laughs> right behind one. <laughs> By the way, yeah. you're standing right behind one, and that's a good place for you to be standing in this situation. Because you notice that those Dragonborn have really big, bumpy butts. What do you notice about your friend's butt? Oh, God. I mean, do you want details? <laughs> what, I, what I know for sure, or just what I like imagine in my head? I think he was. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> about Doris, but. Nudes. Well, I don't really know anything. I, I guess I look and see. And I look over at the lizard guy, and then I look back, and then I look over like I'm really trying to scrutinize the different. <laughs> so, this is going to be on YouTube. Um, you know. <laughs> I take out my magnifying glass as well. I'm sure Lock Holmes this bit. <laughs> Okay. okay. Is Dar's butt smooth or bumpy? I'm going to go with smooth. I can't. I mean, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> it's just going to be a guess. Um, okay. Um, and as far as you know, Dar does not have a tail, right? No. I'm Dar sorry. In case you didn't know, Dragonborn don't have tails. Oh, oh! I didn't know that. No, okay. Yes, Dragonborn so, does not have a tail. So I surmise that there's something, something that's off here. Do you think they all crap their pants? Because they got big ass at butts. You're asking Doris. I'm just asking anybody who's listening. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself out loud. Guys, help him out with the butt. Kick it the what the out. fuck's going on, guys? I like butts. And I cannot lie. That was that was real weird. Today's episode sponsored by. So we're we giving up on the mystery of the giant butts. Is that it? Well, I don't know. Do you want to go get a closer look? Yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be. <laughs> I guess so, right? I guess we should just wait and kill them and then strip them and see what's going on. Then. That's not weird at all. <laughs> They're lizard men. I mean, I think all bets are off. The... On what? No, no, no offense, Dar. The, um, the Geneva Convention is going to have its way with us. Let's go over there and uh, see what's what. In the butt. We'll see what's what and what's not. That, that's fantastic. Congratulations. You get a quarter inspiration. <laughs> How many do I have? You know damn well I haven't been keeping count on those fake-ass quarter inspirations. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's four, so I'm pretty sure you have a full one now. Okay, so you guys are trying to sneak up on their argument without hearing anything. Um, and you want to see what? Let's send, a, you know, we could probably send our scouts and maybe my familiar out. To... I push X forward. <laughs> a little bit better idea of what the situation is. I guess I'll start crawling. And give me an athletics check. No, I'm sorry. Give me an acrobatics check to see whether or not he is capable of pushing you. And so I'm giving you a straight up um, athletics check. I'm used All to right, it. You dodge. 
the irresistible force meets the immovable object. <laughs> it's okay, I, I start crawling over. Alright, so you get a little bit closer, and the bugbear and the reptilian person are spinning in circles around each other while getting ready to fight. He is wearing not... Give me a perception check. Good enough. Alright, so you do notice he's not exactly wearing the same type of armor as Gar wears. It's a little closer to barbarian armor. So no armor. So as he looks at you, you do notice, yes, his butt isn't just bumpy, but it is bumpy and rod-like. Rod? Bumpy and what like? Like there's a stick in his butt. <laughs> oh, okay, rod like. Dar, do you guys have never mind. <clears throat> what do you think's going on here, Dar? Well, um based on what we saw in the ship, I'm not really uh ready to lose my mind over this yet. You know, this might be a good time to try out one of those grenades. I mean, it looks like they're gonna kill each other, right? So, yeah. let's wait and see what happens. Yeah, let's see. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's just see what so happens. So, you guys are gonna try to toss a grenade in between them and see if we can hit all four of them? No, we're just gonna let them fight. No, they wanna watch. They wanna watch. Yeah. Okay. All right, so they start wrestling. They start wrestling. Um, as they do, the pants of one of the lizard guys split, and out pops a tail. Holy shit, it's a tail. Maybe they are lizard men. Dar, I would assume this is up to you if you have any cousins that happen to have tails, or whether or not you assume it is lizard men and you want to start whooping their asses. No, I was just gonna like watch to see who wins. Uh, I mean, like, um, if they're fighting amongst themselves, I'm gonna let them do it. Uh, because I'm, I'm kind of taking it that these are not kobolds. They are not kobolds. This thing is about six feet. Um, six feet tall, six something tall. Oh yeah, let them uh, let them hash it out. <laughs> like, uh, so what is what are, what are they doing? Are they like uh, grappling or are there weapons out? Yeah, rolling around on the mud. No weapons. Hmm. I start crawling out of the way. Yeah. Yes, stupid. You stupid. Yes, stupid. You're stupid. Guys, should we just attack with while well, we have surprise? Mm, zap. Oh, crap. Where did that top well come from? Okay, neither one of them get to do a dexterity throw because they weren't even thinking about dodging. It's third level. God. Yup. They did. So you just use it once. I'm assuming you didn't tw twin that, right? I can't twin this. It's a concentration spell. Oh, that means fog cloud is out, and you're all standing in the open. Yup, we did. And then I'm going to get. Right. A bless is still active. Um, for now, I think it was a minute, right? Yeah. Um, so I will give you. Five turns of battle with Bless. 
All right, cool. Um, Is this going to last five turns? I'm concerned. Well, I doubt this is going to last. Um, so you hit both of them for 18 lightning. Does it get their attention? <laughs> Important question. Is it stormy out or just a little bit overcast? Um, it's definitely overcast. It looks like it could rain, but it hasn't rained yet. But you don't suspect that these guys were paying attention to the weather report today. It's important to me because I get an extra D10 if it's stormy. Oh, okay. Damn. I hadn't considered that. Uh, Luck roll? <laughs> the, clouds, the clouds are coming. It is not quite here yet. There are clouds on the horizon. All right, so both of those guys get hit by a pretty big lightning bolt. They start wrestling around, and the other two that were arguing step up unless they got hit by that too. Is that a cone? That's a straight no. line, right? This isn't lightning bolt. This is call lightning. It strikes a point from above. All right, so that's a 60-foot radius, so all four of those guys get hit. That's the cloud. No, no, no. It only strikes a five foot point, so I can only hit two. Oh, okay. It's a 60 foot radius. Of the cloud. Like, it's a big storm cloud. Sure, but that's not okay. lightning. Cool. If that was the lightning bolt, goddamn. <laughs> Damn, that spell kind of sucks to be a third level spell. I think I hate that spell, man. All right. uh, I mean, it stays there for up to 10 minutes, so I can use it as an action to attack. I don't oh, have to cast it over it? and over again. Yeah. Oh, you can move it? Oh, okay. All right, so it doesn't necessarily stop. All right, cool. I thought it was trash for a second. All right. Um, it does hit both of them. They wake up. They look at you, and their two friends step up, and they say, Hey! Hey. You're not me. Sure I am. <laughs> no, you are not me. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and let's roll initiative. Yeah, because like we weren't sure. I I wasn't sure like what was going on there. It's like, are they gonna throw down or like you know? <laughs> no, I was just giving you a chance to be worried about whether or not you're gonna try to. I was giving you an option to either try to help them if you thought they were Dragonborn, or to find out that they are in fact lizard folk and your enemy. I'm and a you took the option of waiting and seeing, and then accidentally help the enemy. I'm a soldier. I I wouldn't just like help. The, the enemy, the, these count as the enemy, the um, the dinosaur with the catapult, yeah, that was uh, on the other side from the beginning, so I know that these guys are enemies. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Well, 
going to have way too many enemies for you guys. Not today, but just in general for going through my list of enemies. Uh -huh. Spells, 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 spells. Keep in mind, you don't know how tough these guys are yet. Yeah, I um, I'm still trying to figure out spells. All right, cool. So first up are our lizard folk. Are my troops still stealthed? <laughs> they are not. After that lightning explosion, I mean, they are still considered hidden, but they kind of have an idea where they are. If that makes any sense. So they'll have a stealth attack, but they're not invisible. Whoa, that's not good. It's not? No. Um, whatever I did when I took the hit points off the lizard man, it changed the hit points on the actual sheep. Only two, oh, that's uh, you have the token tied to um, represents this sheet. You got to take that off, and then it's an individual tracker. I did that first time too. Otherwise, it changes for all of them. Yeah, see, I just had it for represents character. How did I get it on the sheet? What the hell did I do? Sure, we're not going to waste time with that right now. Um, I had that. I had that problem too. So when you go in and you, like he said, when you say it represents a character, and you take damage from one, it takes damage from all. So I go in after I do that, <clears throat> and I make it so that, however I do it, I think I just change the name or change who the character represents to none or something like that individually to each one you got to go in and do that at least that's what i do it's probably a better yeah, way I'll, make, I'll make sure i do that this hasn't happened in a while all right i remember how much hp is supposed to have all right so the first lizard man runs right up to that person They're prone, so advantage. All of you were crawling? <laughs> yeah, all three of us were. That's what happens when you keep pushing him, man. <laughs> you don't know your own strength. All right, did either of those hit? And it wasn't a whole lot of damage. Still advantage because I'm prone. <laughs> that misses. 16 misses me now. Oh, look who got studded armor. And that brings us to the bugabears. One's going to go after Dor, and the other is going to go around, and he wants the big old minotaur. Oh, 
and you're not raging, and your boys aren't raging yet, so he's going to go, and he's going to swing his morning star two times at you. That's for Zunker ass boy. This is for dog. Cool. So that was a 1957. Okay. Yes. And Dar, I assume that you just take your shield and as this clumsy oaf <laughs> comes to try to swing at you with his unwieldy morning star, yeah. you just basically boredly backhand both of his shots away with your shield, yeah? Yeah. Sakurat, it's your turn. We're in a bad formation. Hmm. I am going to strike a lightning bolt right here and hit both of them. And I will repeat it. Like so. Uh, how many third levels do you have? It doesn't use up a spell slot every single time. Until my concentration breaks, I can do this for oh, Right, right, right. Got it. And that's 10 feet, right? Five feet. And that's right behind both of them. Okay. So that's going to hit the bugbear and the lizard if they fail their dex. Yes. Half damage if they pass. He failed anyway. All right. So he's dead, the lizard man. And the bugbear takes 10 damage. Hmm. Is that your turn? Yes, it is. X. I assume you don't want to lay in the mud anymore? No, I'm going to get up now. Okay, and now I'm going to take out my short sword and my dagger, and I'm going to hit this guy right here. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do... Wait, it's first turn, right? I'm going to do three swipes of my short sword. Okay, um, all three of those do land. And he's dead. Okay. For my bonus action, I'm going to take a swipe with my dagger for this one. Oh, wait, no, I can only do three max in one turn, right? Right, because that third one was your bonus action. So you, unless you want to move, are done with moves. This is okay. Dar? I'm going to move here and I'm going to take a strike at the lizard guy with my. What do I have? A warhammer? Yeah, let's see if I can hit him. Alright. Damn. I believe that's a miss, but let me double check. Yes, that's a miss. Yeah. Oh well. Hermeji, you, you do get a turn. 
Hey, all right. I think I'm just going to fire bolt him. Go for it. That's my job. Get out of here. Sai, si, aren't you level 5 cleric? Or 6? You should be level 6 unless you took a level of something else. I just have really, so you don't really, get. Yeah, I just have really, you don't, really bad luck with um with my Warhammer. I haven't you don't, something with that for a while. You don't get two attacks at fifth level. Not cleric. Um, no. Only a certain yeah, class of cleric gets that. Did not know that. No, there's a class of cleric that gets two swings. I want to say it's a war cleric. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and that's what you are, right, Dar? Yeah, but I have to pay if I do that. I have to use my um, War Priest Inspiration. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Oh, you don't just get to do it. No. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got it. You do know your character better than we do. Um, words, English. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Hooray! This leaves us with one tiny bugbear. And it is Zunkarat's friend's turn. This bugbear just tried to pull the bull by the horns. What happens now? He did. That's not from me. That's my unit. <laughs> and the other one, is he going to do anything to Okay, both of you guys ram your horns deep inside of him, um, and it hurts like hell. He is on one knee, and he is breathing heavily, bleeding and breathing. It was plus one damage, right? I forgot to put that in. Plus one to hit. Plus one attack, plus, not plus okay. one damage. Yeah, please make sure right. you put that on there. Does anyone know how to speak bug bear? Be goblinoid. Can only speak orc. Um, Close I, enough, right? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't. Orc I, I, I can actually, I can actually speak goblin. Okay. Um, you want to try to have a conversation with this bugbear? Ask him what he's doing here. What is Lady. that? What's that thing over there? Mud? Don't be an asshole. That's that giant fucking lizard thing with the wheels on it. What the fuck's going on? Oh, that is the Triteratops. Try what? Triteratops. What do you do? What's, what? Keep talking. The Triteratops will bring about the destruction of your ugly city. Make it beautiful rubble. Is that thought, cannons? Is that a uh, cannon on there? It is a catapult. You don't put cannons on the Triteratops. It would clash. I, I've never seen one before. This so will be I, the I, last I, one you see. Wahaha! Ha, 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 is, ha, ha, is, ha. is this the last one? No, it kill you. Who's gonna kill me? The Triceratops with the catapult. You're not making sense, dude. Yeah, there's I, a Triceratops. I'm, I'm translating. I'm translating to all these guys' words. He's a Triceratops. He has big feet, lots of horns. He stomp you or gore you. You die. What not it makes sense? Pretty, it looks pretty dead. How is and, it... How's it gonna hit us with the catapult? We can just get out of the way. It's real big and slow. It has a catapult on its back. You don't know. You might not be able to make it. You don't know how fast it is. It's not moving, and you were trying to push it. 
Yeah. How fast is it? <laughs> yeah. No, this one, no, this one's no. not very fast. I, I was trying to push the battery round. Ah, so you stupid. I was pushing I, the battery round. The Triceratops do, doesn't have tires. So yes. these lizard guys are in charge then, right? Is that what's going on here? Because you clearly have no fucking idea what's what's, what's happening. Is it the lizard men? Is that, is that who's it? Grumble, grumble. I want to talk to your superior. I'm going to write you up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, he pulls out a whistle and he he pulls out a whistle and he blows it and Do we... oh What yeah, goes going on here? You have trouble with employee? Hey. Yeah, this I guy's lying to us. from five freedoms are... This, oh, no. This is the worst customer service I have ever had. <laughs> Let me talk to your manager. I demand a free bus ticket into the city right now. He pulls out a piece of paper. It is... It used to be one color. It is now brown and speckled. I don't think you want to touch I I take it anyway. It's exactly what you think it is. Is it a piece of poop? A piece of oh, poop. Piece would be wrong. It's close to the toilet paper, which means at least these guys have graduated to either using or collecting toilet paper. You're not sure what's working. I stick it to his forehead. He dodges. No, you keep paper. Yours oh, now. Really? You it. You it. You will take this paper and you will like it. <laughs> I know like it. You keep paper. You it. All right, um, that means it is X's boy's turn. Unless you want to try to see if you can get some sense out of the rest of these. You guys got a plan? Which one of them is in charge? They all raise their hands and say, me in charge. <laughs> oh, so you're all the manager. Yeah, I see how it is. So what's the truth? Who's in charge here? The lizard men clearly, you know, are running the show, right? Who are they? Are, are you their slaves? You stupid! You stupid, stupid, stupid! And they all start to charge at you. It is X's boy. Okay. My rug is going to swipe with a short sword. <laughs> on on this one. Okay. Um. By the way, Dar, you have deeply insulted them, and they all want to kick you. I don't know if you intended to deeply insult them, but yes, you did. All right, that short sword is going to miss. And then bonus action, dagger swipe. I'm trying to that figure out. Hits. So just, figure. just a three plus sneak attack. So <clears throat> ten. Wow. Right. I think I have four more turns left on this uh on this bless. Oh, and then the other one's gonna shoot this guy. Not anymore, I see them. Hold on. Oh, there you are. Okay, 
Yeah, like as soon as you hit the bug there, um, your sneak attack would have been enough to kill him because um, he had four hit points left. But he just flew off the map. Yeah. Spreaded wings. Did you guys see that? He just like yeah, flew I off the map. That. <laughs> I saw yeah, that. I didn't move him. <laughs> I didn't move him. He just flew off the map. I was about to check and say, oh yeah, he's dead with a sneak attack. But whatever. Alright, um, what's your ranger doing? Uh, shooting this guy. And nine for damage. Alright. He is not a beast, though, so he only takes the... <laughs> That's it for him. And that brings us to Dar's boys. All right, they are going to um, concentrate fire on this guy. All right. So let's do Dar's units. Those are both hits. Cool. And so far, so good on those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Her Majesty. What do your friends do? Uh, my paladin is going to cast Hunter's Mark on this guy. All right. That's a bonus action, so he still gets to attack. Okay, and then he's going to hit him with his mace or warhammer. All right. Um, that's a hit. It's a D eight, correct? D six. D six. Roll that D six. Okay. So he's a vengeance pally, right? Remember, yep. you only have yep. one more spell slot in case you want to smite anybody. Right. I think he's got two. I think he's got three first level spell slots on third. I will double check for you. Yeah. Let me... You're correct. He has three. Okay. That's good. So he has two left for smiting. Yep. And that's going to do it. Um, after putting the harness mark on him, um, he knows a little red beam go on to the top of his head. Um, and as that red beam goes on to the top of your head, your paladin, using his goggles, finally gets his shit together and squares him square into the head, caving it in. Hey, attaboy. Excellent. And your other guy? What's he going to do? Yeah. I think he's just going to shoot an arrow at this guy. All right, go for it. I do need you to take that plus one off the damage on your weapon, though. Okay. Yeah, it only goes on the attack roll, not on the damage roll. I'll let it go for right now. Ew. Okay. He does hit him, shot. though. Just a warning shot. <laughs> so you give the guy a reverse mohawk. The top of his head is a small trickle of blood. All right, so like I said, these guys want to kick your ass, and there's not that many of them, so this guy's going to try to kick your ass first. 
So he's going to run up to you and see if he can connect with the ass kick. Jesus. Who's your god? Oh, wow, he actually hits you. Who's the what? Who is who, man? He's god. <laughs> yeah, first one hit. Is that 25? That is 25. And the other one's going to throw a javelin at I'm sure he's not going to crit. A javelin at this range? Styling on it. No, 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 no. It's the one that's up further. Wait, disregard. I can cast shield. You can't cast shield for the um, crit. You can cast shield no, if that 17 the, will hit you. For that 18. That 18 will hit you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I said disregard that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was supposed to be throwing it at you. Um, oh, right. So right. yeah. you got lucky today. Yeah. yeah and yeah, players yeah. take ties, so you are able to block the other ones. And that brings us to Zunkarat Prop. Uh, did they actually go, the monsters? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's spaced out. Yeah. Why don't you ask her Betty if the monsters actually win? <laughs> her Betty, if you would have gotten lucky and I would have pushed the wrong button, would that 14 have taken you out? Yeah, that would have killed me. That's why I was going to use the shield. Zap. I. Um, where are you putting it? Ping for right. me again? Right on it. Alrighty. And let's... It's a, it's a very I... mediocre roll. It's a very good thing I haven't gotten a chance to go over there yet. All right, that brings us to X. Uh, I'm going to move up and do two short sword and a dagger swipe. Unless it dies right now. Wait, you are... Oh, that's right. You get two attacks because you're a ranger, right? Right. And you still get your bonus action. Okay. Um, nine... 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 26, 29. He is dead. Before okay. you use your bonus action. Then I'm going to move down and do my bonus action. Oh, not thrown. Sorry. I mean, you could have thrown. That would have been cool. Oh, yeah. And you would have. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, totally. But totally you already throw. called it. So been. the second one does miss. Mm-hmm. And that would have been so cool. You should have threw it at him and then stepped behind him like, here I am. But unfortunately, we can't all do cool things. Yep. All right. Um, that brings us to Dar. All right. So that guy. There's only is, one Bud Bear uh, left. Yeah. I'm going to do my favorite thing. And um, I'm going to cast this on that Bud Bear. <clears throat> All right. I don't think he. Yeah, he's been dancing all day. Let's see if he can make it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty low damage anyway. So let's see what he does. Woo! He is pissed. <laughs> all right. So he dances out of a way, and I believe he does not take any half damage on a miss, right? I don't think so. Um, no, he does not. No. Yeah, so he's good. Hey, guess what? This is the guy that punched you really, really hard, Hermeji. What do you have to say? 
fireball. In melee range? <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to have to move back if oh, you want seven, to fireball. Okay. And... Okay. All right, I won't. I won't. But you don't have to. You can just do it at a disadvantage. You could try to pie face. What is that? Ooh. Beautiful. One word. Which one? Maclaren. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. Just because he's dumb doesn't mean he fails his wisdom. Yeah, it's still a sweet spell, though. <laughs> I do like that spell, by the way. Yeah, he he fails miserably. What are you gonna tell him to do? One, I stand up as straight as I can, uh, ignoring the pain from his previous dirty attack, and with my most commanding voice, I say, "Bravo!" All right, so he completely puts his face all the way in the mud. Says. Me sorry, me sorry, me sorry. Me sorry, me sorry, me sorry. Me sorry. And let's see, he needs to do a wisdom throw to see if he can quit doing that. Because it's his turn now. You know what? Actually, screw it. No. Zonk, it's your turn. Or is it your soldier's turn? It's your soldier's turn. This also ends bless. Cool. Zonk, <clears throat> it is your soldier's turn. They are going to grab the way. So any melee attack would have advantage. Because he is pro. You should probably question him. Yeah, my Minotaur is going to grapple him. Try to restrain him. Which is an athletics check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's... Yeah, you got him. Anyone else want to do anything, or...? Uh, yeah, I, um... One... Second... Uh, I have to put this in... Like, did you want you guys to go? Yeah, it's uh, one of my guys is My guys are chilling. Yeah. One of my guys is going to use a spell slot. And he's going to cast Alright, cool. What do you want to ask him? Um I'm gonna let the other Yeah, this stuff from Marvel twenty that's been putting that on there. It's not giving us your um, number for the saving throws. It's doing that man thing. It's some fucked up bug. Do you know what the saving throw is? Let me just check for you. Uh, it's supposed to be written somewhere, right? Yeah, right I know it was at least 15. Spells. Um, oh, no. Since this is my unit. <clears throat> um, you see Wait, I'm sorry. This isn't you. Yeah. Um, yeah. go ahead and figure that out. Um, but for right now, go ahead and ask your question. I'm just gonna go and say he fails. That bug is annoying, and I really hope they fix it because that's not a good bug. Yeah. Um, so I should probably not have put this spell on him anyway. Uh, I'm gonna ask him <clears throat> what. Um... No, that's an excellent spell. Um, definitely useful. You didn't know about the bug. I just found out about it today. No, I, I didn't consider that um, my unit's uh, wisdom is really low. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter yet. You guys shouldn't be hitting any bosses today. We'll actually be wrapping up not too far from now, probably half an hour, an hour. All right, go ahead and hit me. All right, so I'm going to ask him about um, what forces they have gathered in this location. Because I want to run on of, um, like, um, troops numbers and types now he can only answer the questions he knows 
So he doesn't know the numbers because he can't count past 10, not <laughs> even being funny. Um, he does, however, tell you that there are bugbears, triteratops. Um, he said there were two pterodactyls, but he hasn't seen them in a little while. And there's a couple more dinosaurs. Is the triteratops the last of his people? No, there's plenty of triteratops. If anybody told you it's the last time you'll see a triteratops, it's just because you'll see a triteratops, it'll kill you, thusly you won't be seeing anymore. But there's plenty of triteratops. Okay. What are their weaknesses? Um, he says same thing as anyone else. You stab them enough, eventually they quit trying to eat you or trying to step on you. Oh, also, sorry about this, but I'm going to stick the poop to his forehead. I don't know why I held on to it, but I didn't grab it. Okay. Um, wait, what are you doing to his forehead? Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking the piece of poop to his forehead. <laughs> oh, no! I it now! Damn! I'm always it. Any other questions for him? When's the when is the attack planned? Like what like time and stuff like that? Oh, storm just clear up this morning. We were able to start. We've been bombarding the wall since then. The lizard men say, Where there's a whip, there's a way. They sing the song. You want to hear a song? No. Fine, no, no. I sing song. Just wait until after we get done our conversation. It would be impolite, at, at, at the very least, if you started singing. Right? How do you control the tar uh, the triceratops? Titer, you know, control triceratops. Stupid lizard men think they ride on the triceratops. Think they control the triceratops, but stupid lizard men, stupid, and they poopy heads. They don't know how to control Titeratops. They just ride them and they go and they hold their little strings and the Titeratops learns left and right. Have they ever, like, stampeded? Or in English, the the Titeratops are lizard men sit atop the Titeratops and control them using rings. Like rings on their fingers or? Rains, R E I. Oh, and rains. Oh, okay. So, have they ever stampeded or anything? Hold on. What is a rain on the finger? That's what I want to know. No, I he thought he said I rain. Like, uh, I thought he said rain. Um, stampeded? Like, have they ever spooked and all ran in a direction or, you know what I mean? Have, have they ever, like, Run and run up muck and trample people and stuff. Oh, they brave. They no get scared by noise. That wasn't my fucking question. Be sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I say, so what's the answer? Have they ever done that? No. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just. I just got a little antsy. So. You're doing really good, though. No. You're doing really good. No, no, but we might not kill you. If you sing that song, you're definitely going to get killed. Does anybody else have any questions? For Who is time? your manager? Um, he looks around at all the dead bugbears. And a couple of the dead lizard men, he sighs and says, Manager by um manager by battering ram. Who's leading this army? Manager T. We call him Mr. T. He only went strong enough to push battering ram besides triceratops. 
Wait, didn't we kill that guy? Which guy? The guy pushing the triceratops? Yeah. No. He was just going around digging dirt, minding his own business. He wasn't pushing triceratops. Triceratops have feet to ride. Um, he was digging holes to make sure you couldn't follow battering ram. Yeah, we he covered the tracks real good. Uh, anybody the, else? The first bugbear we encountered, and we killed him, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That was not Mr. T. Ah, him no Mr. T. Mr. T strongest. Where's he at? He near close to the gates, probably trying to push battering ram into gate. Why do you Can hate we? the lizards? You want they to think right? they're so big. They think they're so smart. Shaking their tails all over the place. Are they Mr. T's edition? Or do you guys have a leader? Mr. T no care. Mr. T just say, bugbears, go there. Bugbears, go there. We the go there army. Or are you an army one to go? Bugbears get orders. Bugbears follow orders. Bugbears hate thinking. So, if somebody, I'm assuming you guys don't want this army defeated before you can take over the, the city, right? What do you mean, defeat it? Well, uh, I mean... Bugbears no... never lose. Well, no. You, I believe that. And I believe that's because of good planning. Now, I'm assuming you guys have taken precautions uh, against being attacked from behind or, or anything like that. Yes. The precautions were bugbears and... Paradoctyls. Oh, so you guys? Yes. We proud bugbears. We stop you from sneaking up on us. That's true. You guys did great. So is there anything that you're not telling us? Anything that, you know, as, as far as people yes. want to ensure the success of this army that we need yes. to... Sometimes I sneak extra apple tart. Apple tart's so delicious. And sometimes I take an extra one when I'm not supposed to. I don't know what to say to that. Do you want an, uh, do you want an apple tart? I have one. No, no, no. I have plenty of apple tarts. I take so many. He has one, two, three, four apple tarts. And to your surprise, they actually do look delicious. I take them all. They are mine now. You know, has apple tart, I do. Is there any... I can... Does anybody have any more questions? Can they think of anything to ask this guy? Does anybody else speak Goblin, by the way? No. No. Okay. Currently, I don't speak any languages. <laughs> Does he start singing or what? No, you actually hear the thing of three other voices. Three lizard men walk up. They say, oh, not this asshole. Everyone, Triceratops, turn around. Who are they referring to? 
Oh, we're calling out the Triceratops. And these three lizard men step into. Yeah, but who's say. the asshole? Oh, the bugbear on his knees. Shithead. Oh. Do they want him? They do not. In fact, they heard the threat about um, if he starts singing the song before they say so again, you kill him. So they thought hopefully you would try to kill him after you, they started singing a song. But I'm guessing you guys don't. No, no, we didn't fall for it. I think we should kill him, though, anyway. Hey, you guys said you kill him. You're liars. <laughs> Only if you sung it. We, I think we should kill him. I mean, I can't do it, but somebody should. Well, this cocksucker is just going to start stabbing us in the back as soon as we get into battle. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Why do you no lie? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm cool with this. If no, if no one's going to. I am messing with right, I want to do it. I should not be messing with. Hold on, I'm trying not to crash. Oh no. I didn't crash, did I? No. Uh, nope. nope. All right, those lizards are supposed to keep their same turn from before, and they're each going to um, start their attacks and then start try Terror Top's turns. Okay, those well, they each get two attacks. So those six attacks are going to the uh, Paladin, um, one of X's boys, one of X's boys, X, Dar, um, what is that? Did I say five? And um, sure, let's say Zonkarat. What was the roll for me? The eleven. Yeah, whatever the last one was was for you. Which one's mine and my troop? So the first two are um the first one is um the paladin. The second one is your troop. That's a sixteen. The six is your troop. Oh you guys are keeping your same initiative as before. 
The third one, that 21, is for you, um, X. So that's a three. The 13 is for Dar. That's a miss. And the 11 is a miss. So I believe the only one that gets hit here is X or a lousy three. All right, not so bad. So that is a 11 from everybody or 17 damage. Um, half damage if you guys pass, unless one of you is a full rogue and that's level seven. So yeah, half damage, which would be eight if you fail. It's my units, you get advantage on decks that they can see. That. That's for everyone? No, that's for my troops. The attack, I believe, is for everyone, though. Um, what does it say? 10, ten foot, foot radius. radius right. So. Everybody's in 10 feet. Yeah. There's no way we're not. Actually, we're neatly in 10 feet. Are you kidding me? All right, and, and it does. I do believe that kills our bugbear. Cool. What if I want to shield the bugbear? So we all roll it. Yes, everybody yeah. rolls this. If you pass, take eight damage. Even if we pass, damn it. Yeah, it's like shrapnel and shit. If you don't have something that allows you to pass half damage with zero damage, then yeah, you would take damage from this. Oh. All right, so the only person who got hit is one of the rogues. I mean, one of the um, bards got hit. There? Yeah, one of the bards got... Uh, just now, let me do the third third one. Uh, but yeah, one, one has gotten hit so far, because the first one is, is for me. Um... Where is this thing? All oh. crap. Take half, right? Correct. Yeah, so my both soldiers get hit soldiers. or eat. Alright. And Mike, who was that last one for? Is that for your fighter? The last one was for my fighter, yeah. Alright, so he takes eight. The other one is raring. So, I made the save. How much damage do I take? Hey, whoever Eight. didn't make the save takes the full damage. Okay, oh, so the le so it was sixteen was the damage then. I think it was seventeen. Oh, it was seventeen. Okay. Oh, well, that kid just no way. I I have more damage coming to me. Wow, my guys are hit pretty hard. Wow, we should only take um the seventeen damage each. So that shouldn't kill. It's it's or does pretty it? Low, yeah. it? It doesn't kill them, but did you give low. them yeah. did you roll HP for them when you went to level three? No, I think I took um I, I just took average. They come out at um Oh you took the average? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is for X by the way. That's oh god, <laughs> he's dead. Oh, never mind. Did I say strength? I think it says. Oh, it does say strength. Wow, not dead. Oh wait, I still have to roll my gore attack. Or you'll be knock prone. So at least you won't be knock. Does that mean he's right here now? He's about to be. Oh god. Okay, he tried to gore you, but he failed. That's scary. <laughs> All 
All right, and that brings us to Zonkaret. Hmm. Are there actually two? You know what? No. For right now, because of the time constraints, there is only one. So okay. forget that you see the other one up there. The one that just bum rushed you is the only one who's here for right now. And it hasn't been ten minutes yet. Been here for 10. So going to zap right here for two for. Uh, so that should be all three of them, if I'm correct, right? Mm -hmm. Also, I took damage, so. I pass because it's 10, right? I only took it. Right. And that'll be my turn. Those guys all fail. Those guys all eat damage. Good song, by the way. Yeah, I got it stuck in my head because I keep playing it on YouTube commercials. It's from the <laughs> new Final Fantasy game. So, X? Oh, right. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bad rolls. The dagger hits. Yeah, I figured. Wait, that was for the dinosaur, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's not as bad as you thought. The short sword hits, and your dagger hits. Just 19. <laughs> Just 19. So I'm going to be interested to know that you did do good work on these lists. I did? Yeah, you did. They're all on their knees. Ooh, damn. No sweat. All right, next person up. Dar. Oh, okay. Uh, that's Dar proper, right? So uh, this is what we're dealing with: the catapult um, and this and these guys. That guy doesn't exist right now because okay. of time constraints. So. Alright, so just this guy. Uh, I'm going to take a big swipe at him, I guess. Oh, don't forget. Um, never mind. Oh, uh, what's that? <laughs> I forgot to bring him with me. Uh, just one second, one second, one second. Uh, does this apply? Does this apply? Does this apply? Oh, is that it? Then to hit 
I'm so sorry, dude. That's <laughs> 20 to hit. How many times do you get it there? It's two. It's two? Okay. That was probably worth it. Because that was a really terrible miss. That wasn't a terrible miss. It was just a miss. Uh, are you sure you want to use that and you don't want to bless yourself? No, that's... I mean, that's... you don't want to not bless yourself. You sure you don't want to um, guide yourself or whatever? I know. Um... No guides wouldn't work. Never mind. Mm -hmm. You got to use it. You're cool. That's... And was that for the lizard man or was that for the dinosaur? That's for the dinosaur. Um, did you say both? Is, can that be both? Nope, dinosaur. Yeah, I didn't think you were wasting more lizard. <laughs> Next up, Hermeji. I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on myself. And can I use a scroll of cure wounds on myself? You may do that, yes. Okay. Technically, you shouldn't be able to because it's supposed to still be this spell. But well, I don't feel like looking at a piece of paper and casting a spell the same thing. So well, I allow it. Okay, thank you. I was just letting you know that technically on the rules, it's not supposed to work. Because well, I didn't consider casting two spells on the same time. Yeah, I and understand. I being able to use it. But I didn't, yeah, I didn't know if a scroll would circumvent that. It isn't supposed to, but otherwise, I don't, I don't know. I like it. And that was a shitty roll, but okay. Yeah, that's why I'm still in Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that brings us to X's boy. Uh, Zunk's boys first. Yeah, I meant to say Zunk. I don't know why I did that. I'm not used to Zunk rolling that high. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so my guys are going to rage. And then they are going to smash into Dino Dude. He is a large creature that will not be able to push him. I think he might even be a huge creature. Okay. Then they will use hammers. And it is hammer time. Is your plus one on that to hit? I don't know. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, because the one still 12, the 12 misses, the 17 does hit the. Yeah, it is on there. Uh, let's do it recklessly. I'm feeling frisky. And I'm going to pay for this, but... <laughs> so. Alright. The second one's effect isn't changed, so he still gets his 8 damage. We do add 11 more damage. Alright, uh, X is your voice's turn. Okay. Um Let's see. My ranger is gonna move back and we'll shoot the lizard man on top. Okay. Oh, there was a lizard guy on top. Oh. And then would okay, question. Would would the lizard man be right next to Dar or no? The lizard man on top of the um, triceratops is on top of the triceratops, so no, he's not next to Dar. He's right and high on the triceratops. Okay. Well, That's then... 15 hits, by the way. Okay. Uh. Guess she'll shoot the the lizard man on top too. You no sneak attack though. 
Oh, I see what you were asking now. What if she got the sneak attack? Very good. Um, yeah, she. Yeah, it's just four. All right, and that brings us up to Dar. Dar's boy is rapping. All right. Um, they don't have much of a choice here because they are on like one health each. They're gonna have to heal themselves. Um, so they're moving out of the way, or what are they doing? They are both going to shoot their bows. And for the bonus action, they're going to use healing wood. Okay. Right. I believe I said they have four first level slot spells, right? Yep. And so far, they've each used one. No. Uh, Correct. Only, only one of them used the zone of truth. Right. And this healing word is the um, second first level slot, right? No. So no. they each use one at this truth? point. Zone of Truth is a second level spell. Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah. And so only one, of them one first level spell has been burned. Got it. Yeah. All right. Go for it. All right. So, um, maybe. Ah, crap. Submit. And. Submit. Wow. Beautiful. All right. So, Longbow, um, they are both going to go for the uh, thing on top of the. Uh, Triceratops. Well, at least they rolled that well. Yeah. <laughs> the second guy misses, but the other guy, after failing to heal himself for more than the most pathetic of healing, um, does manage to pull out his crossbow, and he shoots basically one of the um, horns of a tricer Triceratops off making him a bi tops. Um Also doing 13 points of damage to the try now by Teratops. Cool. And um, I think that will be the turn. Yes, the, the, the sir. Lizard, I use the, the bonus action in action. The, Not a bad. The, the, Not the bad. Lizard, All right. Top. Is he still alive? Yes, the lizard on top is still absolutely alive. Can unless that long bow was there. They want to climb the Biteratops. Is that what you're saying to me? Yeah. I don't know if they can. Okay. Um, I mean, there are rains there. They could try to, but he's going to try to shake them off. And um, if they're going to climb him, I would consider that a grapple because he's a living creature instead of like a straight up vehicle. So I would consider that a grapple if they want to try to climb. I won't force you to use an action right now, but it will be a grapple. Do they want to go for that? Yeah, they might as well. All right. So it's... Um, strength versus strength. All right, so let's see what they what they can do. Um, All right, they give it a good shot. They try their best to um, go right up and climb on top of the thing. They aren't able to get quite a good grip on it. Give me a D. Three. This is only for the guy who um, rolled the nine. So he takes one point of damage. The guy who got the 16 was able to get a pretty good grip. He wasn't able to hold on, but he was able to keep his balance well enough where he landed and he didn't hurt himself. Every guy takes one point of damage. Right. Neither guy is prone. Hermeji, it's your turn. I thought he was going to shoot with a longbow. All right, go for it. We're going to be moving on to your paladin. Yep. He is going to cast... Uh, 
um, ba, 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 he's going to cast cure wounds on me. All right. Um, question: Does your fighter have either his strength or his dexterity at a fourteen? His strength is. Okay, I'm just making sure because you know we can't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> yeah. Well, he tries. No, I'll just make sure he wasn't getting screwed, that it was just because he sucks and not because I cheated him. Yeah, no, it's totally because he sucks. All right, all right. So here we go. The six attacks are going um, Dark, um, X, Zunkarat, Fighter, Paladin. Dark, X, Zunkarat, Fighter, Paladin. And um, let's say, um, I said Zonkarat, right? Hermeji. No, not Hermeji. You've been hit too many times. Uh, one last one will be Rand. Roll a D4 for you guys. All right, I hope you guys remember the order because I just forgot it. I have no idea. I'm number two. I'm three. So I guess my fighter is four and my paladin is five? Your fighter is five. Yeah, okay. So of course the six is the only one that's gonna hit anybody. So I will roll a D4. Um, that D4 will go Dar X, then Mike. One, two, three. I believe all the other attacks missed. Am I right? Which one is it? Yeah. Uh, all of them, the the last one that you hit, or the one that would have hit me. But I was like D2 attack, I think. The 22? I, I was one, so I would have taken 10. So that's for Zonkarat. That's for Ben. That um, seven damage for Ben. Okay. I can keep my spell. X, can you get up there? All right, and that brings us to a Triceratops. Um, he's going to try to drop another catapult. Oof. Where is it? In the center of us, because we haven't moved. <laughs> and all three of my guys get hit. So that's 13 damage if it um if you pass. Alright, those are good good passes. Keep going. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Both of my guys are at one. That means I have to pass a DC twenty six con. No, DC I thirteen. Mean, I did not pass. And call lightning is down. Yep. I passed none of those. This is my pally. My, my turn. My fighter. That would Me. depend on if Sanctuary is concentrated. Oh, Sanctuary gives them disadvantage on attacks. It's not... Or I don't think it's concentration. I don't think it's concentration either. But it doesn't have to be a directed attack. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe if I threw a javelin at you, that should have been a disadvantage, but it didn't hit you anyway. 
Um, you can drop your sanctuary if you wanted to use your spiritual weapon. No, you can keep using your spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Um, right, but if but I, I cast if you it, attack, I think if you attack, your sanctuary is gone, isn't it? But the way it's worded, it's if you cast a spell and it affects somebody. But if I cast the spell and don't attack with it, can I then technically attack with it without casting the spell that wouldn't so that would not break sanctuary? Wait. So you're asking if you can cast spiritual weapon, not use it to hit anybody, but have it ready for next time while keeping your sanctuary on? Have it ready for the next round. Yeah. That's and keep fine. my sanctuary on. Sure. And attack with it and keep my sanctuary? No. Okay. Well, that was really the question. But yeah, you can have it set up to go for next time if you want to. Um, I wouldn't. No, no. I was just wondering if I could, if that was a workaround. It'll be possible, but there's no need. This fight's almost over. Zunkrat, it's your turn. Okay. Uh... The Triceratops is looking too good. I'm gonna do this again. Oh, are you shitting me? 3d10 and I do a 7. <laughs> Just get it out of your system. <laughs> we'll be put Really? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he took it. all of it. How does it look? That's now? The X. Oh, he looks terrible. X, it's your turn. Wait, who looks terrible? You try Ceratops. Yeah, Ceratops? Ceratops? Okay. Get yeah, a box of Triceratops. Come on, get him. terrible. X opens his stomach and lives All right. inside of him for the All right. Um, X, how do you want to do this? Uh. uh okay. I want to. I want to. I want to roll a performance check first. Sure. Oh shit! That's not very good. Okay. I Nobody's to, watching. Yeah, I wanted it to look pretty, but no, it's not gonna be. Just okay. go and describe it. It'll still look pretty. You just so, a little bit uh, of on your face. So, uh, I, uh, X runs up and uh, he he tries to jump as high as he can to like, kind of go to where the um the lizard man is, but. Wait, are you trying to pull off a Legolas thing where you go and jump on top of the thing, stab the die, and then slide off his tail and do a little hair whip? Yeah. Okay, so you do that. You do jump up. You stab the lizard man. Go and you stab the um other sword into the Triceratops, and you slide down his back using your sword as an anchor. It's as you get up mine. to his curly tail... It's not mud. You... What? It's not mud. Oh... Yeah, so as you slide, you go and you do do a thing, you land to a pile of mud, do your hair flip, do a little sniff, and realize you're not standing in mud. Good day. This is a good day. <laughs> All right, guys, hold on. I got to make a phone call and get somebody a ride before we move forward a little bit. The rest of the lizard men ran. Okay. Cool. Is it safe to come out now? No. You are not in battle right now. The rest of the people who would fight you are not that close to see you. You cannot rest. But you could rest. But it would be terrible. All I'm, right. still, okay. I'm still in sanctuary. Here. I wanted to tame it. I'm going to use uh, aid. All right, my ranger is out of first levels.
Right, so my guys so... are still alive. <laughs> well, back alive. While Onyx is gone, do you guys think we should take a five minute break? Yeah. Food, restroom, coffee. Yep. Sounds right. good. I will be back. This non thing, what is that? I'm still looking into this NEN thing. I I'm seeing some discrepancies with it. Yeah, it's a mistake. It's a bug, I think. Unless you think you figured out something else, do you? Yeah, I'm looking into the uh the back end of the sheet. It changed something I was supposed to fix it, but um there's another calculation happening in the sheet that's not going the way it's supposed to. I yeah, you can't it. manually you can't even manually put the number in. Like you can't get past it at NAM. You can Are we going to have to fight immediately when we start again next time? Like my real question is should I cast healing right now? Um, so, here's what I'll tell you. 
Mr. T has to notice you, and you'll notice I literally just turn the other two triceratops the other direction, and they're still bombarding. Um, the lizard men are running away, so um, is X here? Yep. All right, X, give me between yourself and your boys, give me um, as many shots as you guys are able to. Make. A what? Shoot arrows. Oh, shoot arrows. How many? As many as turns as you guys have. I believe that's four shots. Oh, okay. I'm back with food and cup. All right. You X is seeing if he's saving you guys trouble right now. And one more. All right, cool. X just saved you guys from having to fight immediately. The upper triceratops are turned back towards the castle, and they're trying to bombard it with um, the cannons. So nobody notices you right now. Um, you will have the option of sneaking back to base to lick your wounds real quick before you come back ready to fight again, or you can try to hop right into the fight immediately after you take care of some stuff. Um, it's kind of up to you. You mm -hmm. do, however, see, um, this is just to have you guys ready. This will help you in your decision. Mr. T, step onto the field. Um, do you guys see the thing with the um, Emerald Eclipse flag on it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you notice it has tires on it. That is the battering ram. And that battering ram has been pushed by Mr. T himself and the leader of this particular group although he is a really, really strong word. He's just a guy in charge of pushing shit. Uh, Mr. T. Okay. Can I, can I, I just want to cast a healing spell real quick on everybody. Yeah, you, um, I will grant you the 10 minutes it takes to do that. This is a 10 minute one, isn't it? Yeah. If we wait 10 minutes, I'll lose another storm. The one I just brought back up. Oh, crap. Yeah, I think everybody's kind of... Well, it's up to you. I don't know what well, you guys are going to... How many people are hurt? My guys are really hurt. Yeah, go ahead. I'm a little really scuffed. Yeah. What about your guys? Are they hurt? Is anybody else's guys hurt? A little. Um, I want to say Dar's guys are um, hurt, too, right? I used well, I've got... Yeah, I I've got me on myself and my guys. So um, you can exclude myself and my guys um, and see who else you can uh, attend to. Okay, uh, I'm getting me and my guys and Oh, wait, wait. Guys. You know what? Time out. Put that prayer of healing back in your pocket. Um, and, yeah, put that back into your pocket. I want you to look at your experimental grenades. Okay. Okay. Um, look at your experimental grenades. I do. <laughs> no, I like a uh, check. All right. You have one experimental grenade. It's glass and it's red and it's hot to the touch. You have another experimental grenade. It kind of buzzes. It's green and it kind of rumbles back and forth. Your third experimental grenade is kind of pink. It kind of goes thum thump, thum thump, thum thump, thum thump. And it gives a nice, warm, smooth, relaxing glow. That one has a drummer in it. Is it warm? It's definitely it. It's nice warm. It's probably 98.6 degrees. You know what it does. <laughs> so, yeah, I just crack that baby open and throw it on the ground. All right, I'll tell you how much you get. It explodes. Shit. We all die. It does. Explodes beautifully. It explodes into love. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna use my dagger. So Zung's gonna cut himself. That, that's really weird. It, it is. You got, you got issues, Zung. Oh, Hold up, we're gonna re roll that. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Woo! Hold up! Nice. Alright, make that 13. Everybody gets back 13 HP. Alright, cool. Um, that's three PCs? That's for everybody. All right. Mark off your experimental grenades. You have just experimented with the experimental healing grenade. Um, didn't work quite as well as it was supposed to, but you guys aren't hurt right now. How many did we have? Four? Uh, uh, no. You have... The, the, the grenades that you have and everybody has are the um, spider fire grenades. Those are not experiment. The spider fire grenades work exactly like they're supposed to. They're not experimental. You remember you have three experimental arrows, I said? Or did you not see that message? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you have three experimental arrows. We'll figure that out when the time comes. And as I said, and I'll say the joke again, and despite the fact that I believe there's only one person who has a chance to get this? Maybe Darren had a chance to get it. I'll say it again. Um, Mr. T. Rex? Yeah? No, 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 like T Rex? I mean, I, I, I know who Mr. T is. I, I'm no. missing the connection. Yeah. Mr. T had a Mr. T had a cartoon, and when he had the cartoon, the song went. Ah. Never mind. Look on this board. I'll put it on there. I, I definitely remember the cartoon, but I don't remember the song. But yeah, I, I watched the shit out of it. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think we had the cartoon in, in my country. It was one of those Saturday morning lineups when they were just putting out shit. It wouldn't even matter. Yeah. And we just eat it up like it was candy. Hell yeah. I mean, it wasn't good, but Yes, we watched the shit out of it like it was. I was sitting there watching this terrible cartoon, eating my Mr. T cereal, putting money to my Mr. T bag. <laughs> you remember Hercules? Do you remember the Hercules cartoon from the 60s? Oh, yeah. oh it was a cartoon. Um, I remember the live action one. Oh, the cartoon one was, was crazy. Well, I mean, not crazy, but like super nostalgic. Nostalgic. <laughs> There you go. Go right on this. Right, I'm going to explain this to you guys, but it's not going to make any sense, so don't worry. So Mr. T drives a bus full of young gymnasts around the country, and they solve mysteries. There's a little red-headed white boy that dresses exactly like Mr. T and tries to talk like him, and there's a dog with a mohawk. They solve crimes by doing backflips, front flips, parallel bars, and tossing each other into criminals. Like I said, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but yes, we watched it. Okay, so we did get a little bit hampered today by technical difficulties, um, but with that said, there's no way in the world you guys are going to get rid of the last true triteratops and Mr. T within a timely fashion for tonight. Um, that's fine. That will, we'll be able to finish that probably within about 30 minutes when we start next time. 
and that'll let you get right into the um, castle. The castle. Mm-hmm. We'll also try to start at seven or seven thirty next week, and hopefully we won't get hampered by technical difficulties. I don't know what Discord was doing, being the son of a spider monkey today, but you know, yeah. it's whatever. Rule twenty was being um weird as well. I've been having freezing for the past forty five minutes or something. Yeah, Pro Twenty was even acting funky for me at work today, which is why I had to still move up to the last minute trying to fix some stuff. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah. All right, so what do we think about today? Um, as short as I liked it. I got worried that my troops would do a lot of damage because they became normal characters. Yeah, so far, so good. You have some things with some decent HPs. We will keep an eye on that. Um, I know giving them level three is dangerous because level three is kind of where people get shaped. Um, I'll probably leave them there for a while. Just give you guys start giving you guys tricks again. But they were getting to the point where they just weren't hitting anything. So we'll see what happens. Especially since you guys being level six and your enemies being around that level, I think it should be okay. We're going to see what starts happening with those spell slots. Because those bards could possibly turn some major shit around for you, depending on how careful you are with those. Yeah. But those are only two casters, so those being the only two casters might keep things in perspective. If you all have casters, I'd be in trouble. Paladin picked up a couple spells. Yeah, but he's a paladin. He wants to spell yeah, shit yeah. or throw hunters more on things. I'm, I'm never worried about a paladin spell because they like to smite things. Yeah, that's right. And I think he's got cure wounds and some other shit. Shield spell or something. Don't get me wrong. Paladin spells are nice. They're good for themselves, but you know, they're not giving anybody else too many things. Um, Ben, that's not right. You, your guys should be choosing um, shit they, right now. They can take, um, like a totem. Well, I would have them take totem if that were the case, but that just means when they rage, they take half damage to everything instead of just physical, which is a very yeah. serious logic. Yeah, but you don't have to take totem. You could go um, berserker. Mm. Exhaustion really hurts because if they're not raging, then they're just at disadvantage. Exhaustion yeah. actually sucks. Fatigue in this game? Yeah, I know, exhaustion is kind of terrible. Um, so they still get their regular rages, like everybody else. Um, the frenzy is obviously really nice when you need it, and even mindless, which you're not going to get to. No, I understand what you're saying. Um, take a look, since you're already using a storm sorcerer, take a look at some of the other barbarian paths. Let's put our heads together and talk to me. But, yeah, you're supposed to get your um, primal path at this point. Whether it's just taking a good old boring um, totem, um, which, whatever, doesn't really change much for you since you can't go above three, or whether you see something you like in any of the other ones. Isn't there, like, specifically for Minotaurs, a sailing-type barbarian path? Is there? Look. I don't know if it's an elemental evil or not, but it's something like that. I can find it real quick here. I got that page. Yeah, wherever um it's X uh, this person's a squash buckler. It should be under the same thing. Um yeah. look under on Arcana and look under Water Time Adventures, Water Sports. What is it that- called? <laughs> water sports, water it's sports. It's definitely not called water sports. Uh, I only see Sorcerer's Origin Storm, which is what I am. And then Swashbuckler, and then the Mariner fighting style. There is nothing for Barbarians here. Oh, Mariner is a fighting style. Okay, that is what yes. I was thinking of. What else do Barbarians get? Barbarians get other stuff. Mm, I mean... Not really. That's because barbarians only like the berserker path. I mean, barbarians <laughs> only like the total path. <laughs> it's like Just you can't about. convince them to do anything else. <laughs> I mean, there is uh, 
I could have them do Ancestral Guardian, and that might be kind of cool. Or, no, 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 Storm Herald, here we go. Let's have a look at Storm 